hello guys how are you hope you all are good so in today's video we will be understanding details about conveyors so we have completed fixed resources we have completed task executors and now we are going to understand parameters for conveyors so we'll first understand the details for the conveyor so i have created a small model out here uh, where I have connected source to one of the conveyor and you can see the flow items moving on the conveyor and we are having a buffer here and on this buffer we are storing the parts so currently we are using flow item as boxes and then we have connected it to sync so we will be understanding the details of uh, conveyor the properties for the conveyor and um, in the today's video so let's begin So we will drag the conveyor first. In the conveyor we are going to have different types. One will be straight and another will be curved. So we will take straight conveyor as off. We will take the source from the fixed resource. We will connect the source to the conveyor and then we will connect this conveyor to a queue and then this queue to the sink. So this is how the conveyor will look like when you will drag it so we are having the properties here for the conveyor so we have start point we have end point we have location so basically these are the coordinates for the conveyor then we have width for the conveyor so that would be uh, in this direction so if i make it five you could see the changes happening in the width of the conveyor into meters we'll keep it as one meter as of then we have the horizontal length so this horizontal length there are two ways to increase one way is you can drag it from this plus sign here and this way so what you need to do is you need to click on this conveyor you need to press the left key on this cross do not release the mouse left key and then you need to drag it then you need to release your left mouse key this way you can drag and uh, drop the length of the conveyor from this plus cross of the conveyor another way it is is you can put the value in this horizontal length into the meters so you can change it as 10 and you will have the 10 meters of length so you can also change the units you want to put so inches feet, and so on our model currently is in meters so the default units would be in meters then we are going to have the virtual length this is not mostly used virtual length would be even if you will be seeing it as 10 meter the virtual length for that conveyor would be 20 meter but that would not be visible for you but that would be taken into account for calculation and analysis purpose and then we have visualization part in visualization you have this properties when you will click on this plus sign you can add here number of things so from surface we can draw rollers if you uncheck this rollers will be invisible then you can put the diameter for rollers spacing for rollers so this tab is basically to configure the visualization for the conveyor so you can change the conveyor visualization as per requirements you can change your belt color you can change the roller dimensions you can change the side skirt side skirt is this this plate this this boundary of the conveyor the end plates for the conveyor that would be taking a side skirt so height width all those things you can put that then you can also put the dimensions distance for the legs so these are the legs for the conveyor you can see this we have legs height base and then we have how the leg height should be following the conveyor height from the lowest point of the conveyor related to the model so we'll keep all the visualization parameters as default for the conveyor as well then we will see another properties for the conveyor so this was all for visualization this you can add your own visualization by configuring it as per requirement or you can use the default visualization so i will use currently roller conveyor we have belt conveyor then we have mass flow conveyor you can change it as per requirement but i will currently use it as a roller conveyor now we have this roller conveyor on the conveyor when you click in you have this arrow 
visible so what does this mean is this is the direction of the flow of materials in the conveyor so it will be from left to right that is what this directions indicate if you want to reverse it you need to click on this arrow up and down then you can see the direction for the conveyors is reversed so this blue arrows will tilt the direction for the conveyor then we have a uh, roller skew angle so which is also not mostly used but this is the angle at which your rollers will be skewed in order to pass your flow items that can be 45 degree roller skewed and so on so that is based on your requirement project requirement you can enter the roller skew angle if you have 